hey my lovely viewers thank you for coming back to watch my channel again i'm so humbled thank you for subscribing too our family is increasing each day and that makes me so happy if you are new to this channel if you're most welcome this is the right place to be meet the like mom here deborah nitka is my name I created this channel to give my viewers hope and encourage you to be optimistic. No situation is permanent. Once you choose to work with God, everything is possible. So today, I want us to share something about what happens when darkness blocks our mind. That is what I want us to share. What exactly happens when darkness blocks our mind? That is our sharing. But before that, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. We're going to do our share and ask you to bless us, help us so that you can have a great impact on our lives. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. You know, when there's darkness, even in the normal situations, you can't see what is anything that is near you or surrounding you because it's totally dark. So mostly people sleep when there's dark. But in real life situation, there's something that will happen to you and you see this is the end point. This is, you see total darkness and then you see this is the end of the world. So that is what I want us to share. So uh, our key verse is from the book of Genesis chapter 19 verse 31. That is our key verse. My good news version records, the elder daughter said to her sister, Our father is getting old and there are no men in the whole world. That is what I want us to share about. This is, this it was Lot's daughter. She told her sister that, you know what, our dad is getting old and there are no men in the whole world. I think the... There is a reason why she said like that. You know, when God wanted to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he sent two angels to rescue Lot's family. The common story we know is that uh, Lot's wife just turned back and she turned into a pillar of salt. That, that is what we mostly know. But there are some things we don't know about Lot's daughters. That is why I decided to come up with this title on what happens when darkness blocks our mind. So, when God wanted to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he sent these two angels to come and rescue Lord and his family. So, when these angels came, they spent, they, they, Lord welcomed them and now men from Sodom surrounded Lord's homestead. Lord's house and demanded that Lord should give them the two men who had come so that they could they could have sex with them. Fellow men imagine. Both old and <clears throat> young men, they demanded that Lord should give those two angels of God to them so that they can have sex with them. That is when Lord so told them, you know what? It can't happen. This is God's people. Unless I give you <clears throat> my virgin daughters. I think the Lord failed on this. So when the angels saw this, they closed the door and made these people who were trying to push uh, inside, they made them uh, become blind. So this is when uh, uh, these angels told the Lord, you know what? God is going to destroy Sodom. So you need to go with your, if you have son in laws or your family, you need to live here. Lot went and told those men who wanted to marry his daughters and they saw it as a joke. So they were not serious. Even Lot himself, he was like hesitating. So when the angel saw that, the angels saw that Lot was hesitating, they took they 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 held their hand now by force like let's move fast because God is going to destroy Sodom. That is how these angels held the hands of daughters of Lord and Lord himself and their wife. But unfortunately, the wife just looked back and she became a, a pillar of salt. So when they reached, they wanted to go up the hills, but the angel but 
her lord said that the hills is very far let us settle in this place this small village that small village was called zoar so they stayed there but with some time after some time lord uh, suggested that they go to the hills that is when they moved to the hills and lived in a cave lord and his and his two daughters so when they lived there uh, the elder daughter they are raised that you know what our dad is becoming old and there are no men in the whole world i think this is when they reached the end point they just thought that their dad was the only man alive so what they did this lady suggested that they should make their father drunk so that they can have intercourse with him and they get, get ch children that was the suggestion when you reach end point when you when darkness blocks your mind you don't think anymore you just see that everything is done she says that there are no men in the whole world so that is how the darkness that blocked her mind showed her so she made her dad drunk the that night she slept with him and she became pregnant the following day the younger daughter did the same so this is when the Finally, this elder daughter gave birth to Moab, a son by the name Moab, where we have now this is the ancestor of the Moabites. If you remember, now and her husband went to Moab. This is where they went. So this it, it this is this was disgusting. This is, was a, a cursed generation because this this these ladies they thought that this darkness that came to their mind made them think that now. This was the end of the world. There were no men anymore. <coughs> so what did we learn from this story? Have you reached? Have you ever reached at that point? You find that maybe somebody you loved so much, they end up disappointing you, and then you feel no, I don't need to live anymore because there is no another nice lady like this one. I don't want to live anymore because. There are no men in this world. This is the only man was I knew. This is what happened to Lot's daughters. They just said, you know what? There are no another men. We can sleep with our dad. This when darkness blocks your mind, you don't think far. You just think where you are, and you find you feel that this is the end. But they were wrong. I think their their inner eyes were closed. They did not realize. So, what I'm saying is that no situation is permanent. That one you know my viewers. Never get discouraged and make a wrong decision that is going to cost your life that will, will put a curse on you and your generation. This generation of Moabites and the Ammonites, the second daughter gave birth to a, a son by the name Benim. That is where we go to the Ammonites. This work as the generations. Don't make a decision that will put a curse in your life <coughs> forever. So it's better you try to look for a better solution instead of deciding. There's nothing that, uh, you know, what I mean is that. Don't be discouraged and make a decision at once. Another lesson is that you don't underestimate the power of the of a safe environment to share the concerns. You know, in our modern generation, we can say mm, this. We can judge these daughters of a uh, lot. But as for me, I can't sleep with my father. This is no. This is wrong. But do you know where these daughters were raised? The surrounding. We need to be very careful about the surrounding. This is these were people who were raised in a wicked city that is Sodom and Gomorrah, where sexual immorality was the order of the day. So for them having sex with their father, it was not a big deal. So this this city environment it just made their conscience now feel that it, this this was the only solution. This was 
acceptable solution they could have done. So don't underestimate the power of a sinful environment. So where you raise your kids, that is exactly what they will copy. So we need to be very careful. Before we judge this, these daughters of Lord, we need to understand where were they raised, what was their background. Yeah, because having sex with their dad was not a big deal. This is what they used to see in Sodom and Gomorrah. So never underestimate the power of a sinful environment. And then another another lesson is that choose faith, fear God, not circumstances. From this story, look at this man, Lot. He just lost his faith. This is, you know, Lot is the nephew of Abraham, and he knew God very well. He knew God is a very powerful person. But when these people are just asking that the, the angels should be, he should hand the angels to them and have sex with them, he just suggested that I, I can give you, I can give you my virgin girls instead of having taking this man of God. Where did this man take his faith? Not, not as if that is not enough. Lord knew God very well, and I'm very sure he thought his daughters and both their great uncle Abraham, who had faith, the man of faith. I am very sure he told them how they were. God helped even the, uh, the great God who helped them from Uri to Canaan. But you see, Lord, I think he decided to retain his faith in his heart in his heart and he just decided to entertain the wicked to entertain himself in the within uh, the wicked cities so he did not he was not able to lead his daughters the right way the right way of and tell them more about God I think he just retained this knowledge to himself so it's good to choose faith Fear God, no matter the circumstances, even if they were in that wicked city, at least he could have this, uh, guided his daughters according to God's will, because this was a man of faith, and he, he already knew about what was going, uh, what what had happened to him before, how powerful God was. So let's choose faith and fear God, not circumstances. Any circumstance to say that uh, maybe it's difficult for God, it's uh, possible. So, uh, the last uh, lesson is that God's grace can bring good from our failures. This is the best of all. Let's not leave these two daughters of Lord in the in the cave. We need to learn what what happened to their choices. This, yeah, they made the wrong choices. This is foolish choices. But did anything good come out of these uh, choices they made? You know, you can decide for uh, something, and people might end up even sacrificing you for what you have done. Maybe even if you have gotten maybe a kid, maybe a single mother, and your kid end up becoming a successful person and maybe helping the community. Did anything good come out of these ancestors, out of these, these boys who were born out of incest? Did anything good come out of them? So what happened to God's uh, grace towards Lot's family? Here, God was the, God is the person, the last person who had the last word on Lot's family. Yes, something good came out of these wrong choices, these foolish choices of these ladies. You remember the Moabites? There's a heroine. A heroine came out of the Moabites. That her name is Ruth. If you know the love story of Ruth, she got married to Paz. And they gave birth to a son by the name Oped. And Oped gave a uh, to a son by the name Jesse, Jesse, 
the father of king david so what i'm saying is that god is grace can bring good from our failures so it doesn't mean that when you have failed that is the end of you no god might bring something good out of your failures so never be discouraged god is with you and know that you need to fear him no matter the circumstances darkness will not block your mind if you have decided to fear god and follow his commands if you like this video thumbs up you can subscribe to this channel for more sharing may god bless you so much see you next time bye